Hi, I wanted to make this video because we recently on March 26th we had the Venus Superior Conjunction and Venus actually in her dance with the Sun and the Earth in her eight year cycle does a five pointed paddle that is like a sacred rose mandala and this dance is also astronomically visible and to me it is very fascinating that since the times of the witches the pentagram always had been a symbol for the feminine magic. In ancient times people couldn't have known about this five-pointed rose signature or this dance that these three planets are making. So I feel that also in nature and in the macrocosmos Venus is doing her dance, the same dance that she does in our field, in our psychic field. The dance in the macrocosmos is actually the same that Venus dances in the microcosmos, so in our psychic field, in our emotions, in our spirit, in our awareness. And this year's superior conjunction in Aries was conjunct Chiron and Ceres, so there had been a lot of issues generally around loss and hurt and wounding and where the message of Venus is, I want you to take care of your wounds the next nine months. I want you to feel the pain. I want you to heal your pain. I want you to cry the tears that you still need to cry. I want you to accept the woundedness that you feel and to allow spirit to heal that, but you cannot heal without feeling it. And Venus in Aries is a warrioress, so she sometimes has to speak out before she can heal. So it is a time to reflect on where do I have to speak out more on my wounds, whether it is with others, whether it is in a healing session or whether it is with myself because sometimes we are even too ashamed to show the woundedness of ourselves in front of ourselves so we don't want to admit it, we want to be perfect, we want to be light, we want to be uh, la 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 but that maybe in our wounds we are strong and maybe in our wounds we are attractive so we sometimes have a very distorted view what beauty is and Venus in Aries says um, even the warrioress is part of beauty and is part of the magic of Venus. Venus teaches us about the magic of life. And therefore I pulled some cards today and I did three groups. One group is the Isis group, one group is the Rose group and one group is the earth goddess of New Mexico because Venus is connected to Taurus and Taurus is an earth sign. Well, if you are part of the Isis group, then I mean, the funny thing is that I pulled as an extra card, I pulled Isis in this group with the Tuatha Te Danan, with greed and with message. It is about a theme of abuse that wants to emerge, that wants you to take care of. The next nine months will be a time to say, I think there is maybe a very old wound of abuse or it is a recent wound of abuse, but it is a wound that recently happened and that showed you I have to learn to protect myself. I thought that wound has already healed, but there is a message that comes from the cosmos, from Venus, that says this wound has to heal. Someone was very greedy and because they were very greedy, they wounded you, they didn't respect your borders, they were overpowering you in a way. And it could be an old wound or it could be a recent wound, but someone did not respect your borders. And the beauty is, and it is beautiful that it's actually in the Isis group, that Isis will bring healing. So this is a confirmation to me that the cards say, yes, the next nine months will be a time of healing. The message that Venus brought back from the cosmos is, it is a time of healing for you. It is a time to allow yourself to heal from a wound that had to do with 
your borders not being accepted from someone else, a rage that someone else was in, to let that go and to let the shame go that might have been connected to that and that for you to step back into your Venusian power you should allow yourself to heal and the best way you can find healing is with the Tuatha Te Danan. The Tuatha Te Danan has to do with the magic of nature. So if you believe in nature spirits, nature spirits are there to help you in this wound. The tree devas, um, the fairies, the gnomes, the elves, the nature spirits are there to help you. So find time to go into nature and allow nature to heal that wound. Walk the earth with naked feet allow the earth to heal you and believe in the magic that the earth holds because Venus is connected to this earth. Venus is connected to Taurus. Taurus is the blossoming earth element. It is bathing in blossoms, bathing in the waters, bathing in all the sensual pleasures that this earth holds. And through the sensual pleasures allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself this disrespectful wound to heal. This disrespectful wound can heal because you take back the respect for you. You take back the love for yourself back to you. So it is a, a wound that has to do with self-love that is missing right now because you had been hurt by someone else. So the next nine months with this extra card of Isis will bring healing. So I wish you a wonderful Venus time in the next nine months. and much pleasure, much healing and much joy. Till next time, Namaste. The next group is the Rose group and in this group it is actually very beautiful because it seems there are some beautiful developments in relationships. There is speed, there is Pluto and Lilith and there is support. So it seems that the next nine months there might be a speeding up in intimate relationships. There might be something happening in the area of intimate relationships, in the area of Roman, more than Romans actually, in the area of intimate partnership. And you will find support and it might not only be the person that comes into your life, but it might also be that other people support you in that. So you will find support from many areas, maybe even completely unexpected to find this person or to get closer to this person. But there is an acceleration, a speeding up in the field of relationships. And the on top card in this group is Roots. And this is very beautiful because Roots has to do with yeah, coming home to yourself, rooting yourself also in nature and everything, but it is also connected to your soul tribe. It is where am I really at home? With whom am I really at home? So I would say this person that you will come closer with is actually from your soul tribe. And this is very, very, Beautiful. So the next nine months very likely will be um, a huge shift in relationships and in close relationships. If you are in a relationship, then you will feel a closeness that you hadn't felt before. You will feel that there are new developments that bring you even closer. Or if you don't know this person yet, then there will be new developments that bring you closer to this person. The Venus message is that there will be more intimacy the next nine months coming and it will speed up. So this is a very beautiful development and I hope this was helpful for you. Till next time. Namaste. The next group is the Earth Goddess group. And in this Earth Goddess group we have the imprint of Karma, we have Perchta and we have initiation and to me in this group there is something karmic that has to be get rid of. Perchta is a goddess in the Bavarian Alps and during the time from December 21st to January 6th she is riding across the sky and she takes all that is dead that is not serving anymore with her and to bring new life. I mean her th this ride across the sky is in the end a preparation for new life. And this is what the message from Venus is to you in this time, what, what she brought back 
from the cosmos in this superior conjunction is the message that let go of old karmic issues, let go of old karmic relationships, let go of old patterns. Things don't always have to be like they were. Don't believe in the mental patterns that you have, don't believe in the emotional patterns that you have and don't believe in the structures of the relationships that, that you have with others. So I would say it is really a time about letting these things go, like Kali cutting them with her sword and saying it's done, it's over, I'm done with it. And to trust that with initiation there is something new coming, something in the next nine months. It is a time where it is really the time to let something new in and, and allow the old to go and to finally go away from you. And it seems that the next nine months will bring a new beginning with initiation. It is a chance of a new beginning and with the on top card now, the advice from the cards now, the cards say the easiest way to come into the new is to just stay in the now. That the old does not have the power over you and the future does not have the power over you either. You stop worrying about the future. You stop mourning about the past. You are just in the now. And as I said before with the astrology, this cycle says there is a lot to mourn about. And sometimes we need those moments of mourning and these moments of tears. But nevertheless, always come back into the now where you are like an innocent child and you don't know anything because in the now it is just what is now. No yesterday, no tomorrow. And in this energy of the now, you allow yourself to see your world in a new way. And when you stop mourning about the past or being angry about the past or being bitter about the past and worrying a lot about the future, you allow yourself a new beginning and this next nine months will be the chance, the opportunity to really start anew. This is the message from Venus to you and I hope you have very magical new beginnings and that Venus will bless you the next nine months. I wish you a wonderful time. Till next time. Namaste. Mm -hmm.